So we went and we went to the chapel and we set everything up and we got married and we did everything, the, the whole pictures. Have you been talking to her? When's the last time you spoke to her? Before, recently, it'd been 10 years. Uh, on the way over here. On the way over here? So she knows that you're talking to us? So we went ahead and did the whole thing and we got back to the room and we decided that's when we needed to tell everybody what we done did. It hasn't hit me yet, you know, I'm not like, I, it hasn't, the husband thing hasn't hit me yet. Well, a lot and thank your know, boyfriend, I Justin. I was so proud of them. I was, they totally deserved it. And yeah. you can see they were really shocked. A hazy tale of impulsivity and family tensions. In 2004, the world watched in bewilderment as Britney Spears, the iconic pop sensation, made headlines with a shockingly brief and unconventional wedding to her childhood friend, Jason Alexander. This whirlwind union, which took place in Las Vegas, lasted just a mere 55 hours before it was officially annulled. Britney Spears, in an extract from her memoir, The Woman in Me, candidly revealed the peculiar circumstances that led to this memorable event, shedding light on a pivotal moment in her life. The story begins with a wild night of revelry, where Spears, along with friends, including the infamous Paris Hilton, embarked on a few days of unbridled partying. The toxic singer reminisces that the alcohol flowed freely that evening, and in her own words, he and I got shit-faced. As the night wore on, she found herself in a hotel room, engaged in a hazy movie marathon featuring Mona Lisa Smile and the spine-tingling The Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Then, in a twist of audacious spontaneity, they hatched the idea of venturing to the notorious A Little White Chapel at the ungodly hour of 3.30 in the morning. The recollection of that fateful night is admittedly vague for Spears, as she admits, I don't even remember that night at all. Amid the blur of inebriation and the whims of the moment, it became clear that the wedding was not rooted in love. Brittany candidly remarked, People have asked me if I loved him. To be clear, he and I were not in love. I was just honestly very drunk, and probably in a more general sense at that time in my life, very bored. It's a striking admission from the star, revealing the complex interplay of emotions that must have fueled this impulsive decision. I, I prefer to be honest and, you know, because, yeah, but, yeah, I just, yeah. Well, it's not very often that I get to see my boyfriend, so when I do get to do that, we just, you know, it's quality time. I guess I got so wrapped up in all this other <laughs> that I never really sat back and had a chance to apologize to you. And I love you. I was like, oh, okay. Yeah, but it's how very nice sweet. is that? Yes, it was very nice. You gotta love him. Yeah, I yeah. do. I'm happy for the two of you. <laughs> Get a life. And we get a life and, you know, and just, you know, it's not that deep. When we first started going out, that's how it was. And I'm just, we accept that. That's, you know, it's not like just something that that happened. However, the aftermath of the wedding proved to be far more dramatic than its inception. The day following the nuptials, Spears' family arrived in Las Vegas to confront her about the marriage. The pop sensation, who seemed to have considered the event a jest, was taken aback by her family's reaction. She wrote, They made way too big a deal out of innocent fun. Everybody has a different perspective on it, but I didn't take it that seriously. I thought a goof-around Vegas wedding was something people might do as a joke. Then my family came and acted like I'd started World War III. I cried the whole rest of the time I was in Las Vegas. This incident was not merely a footnote in Spears' life, but a turning point that highlighted the growing tension between her desire for independence and her family's determination to control her life. She recalled, My family was so against the wedding that I started to think maybe I'd accidentally committed a brilliant act because I realized something about me being under their control and not having a stronger connection to someone else had become very, very important to them. Perhaps it's worth mentioning that, by this point, I was supporting them financially. The Britney Spears' Jason Alexander Las Vegas wedding may have been a bizarre momentary spectacle, but it laid bare a deeper struggle within the star's personal life. It was one of the first instances where Spears recognized the stark divergence in her desires and those of her family. This tumultuous incident eventually became a mere footnote in her tumultuous life, but it remains an unforgettable chapter in an ever-evolving story of a pop icon. Britney Spears' candid revelation about that hazy night continues to intrigue and captivate, offering a glimpse into the tumultuous journey of one of the most iconic stars of our time. So you weren't 
faithful. I think everyone has a side to their story. But if it's just a regular day for me where I'm going out or going out to eat by myself with my boyfriend, it takes me like 20, 30 minutes. Well, a lot and thank your boyfriend, Justin. I was Justin. so proud of them. I was, they totally deserved it. And yeah. you can see they were really shocked. It's like I'll say, if someone comes up to me and they're like, are you Britney Spears? And I'm always like, no, my name's um, Susan. Working with Raid Robson? Oh my God. Yeah, this will be the third tour that we've done together. Oh. I just got finished with my book. It's coming out very soon. Britney Spears' explosive memoir, Unearthing Untold Stories. Britney Spears, the iconic pop sensation, has captivated the world's attention with the release of her sensational memoir, The Woman in Me, in which she delves deep into her tumultuous private life. This tell-all account has been nothing short of explosive, and her latest revelation has stirred the pot, prompting an unexpected reaction from one of her former husbands. The memoir chronicles all of Britney's marriages, including the infamous shotgun wedding to her childhood friend, Jason Alexander. In a shocking revelation within the pages of her memoir, Britney Spears disclosed that her vows with Jason were exchanged under the influence of alcohol, candidly stating that she was very drunk and very bored. She took readers on a journey into that fateful night, where the heady mix of youthful impulsivity, friendship, and inebriation converged to form a momentary but unforgettable chapter in her life. Jason Alexander, however, was quick to dispute Britney's recollection of that evening. He refuted her claims, telling TMZ that they were indeed in love and sober when they took their fateful step down the aisle. In a sarcastic social media post, he shared a wedding photo and wrote, Yeah, Britney and I just hate each other and we don't remember anything and we weren't sober here. He punctuated his post with several rolling on the floor laughing emojis and hashtags such as hashtag whatever sells, hashtag sellouts, hashtag greed and hashtag losers. Despite the whirlwind nature of her wedding with Jason Alexander, Brittany moved forward and embarked on a tumultuous journey through marriage and motherhood. Shortly after that unconventional union, she married Kevin Federline in October 2002. The former couple welcomed two sons, Sean and Jaden, before their separation in 2007. In 2022, the overprotected singer once again ventured into the world of matrimony, tying the knot with Sam as Gary. However, their wedded bliss was short-lived, as they filed for divorce after just one year of marriage, listing their separation as July 28, 2023. The spectacle of Britney Spears' weddings didn't stop at the union itself. Her nuptials with Sam as Gary were nothing short of extravagant. The wedding took place at her $7.4 million home in Thousand Oaks, California, and photographs from the event revealed a lavish transformation of her residence. The decor featured white sofas with pink cushions, and a dazzling dance floor illuminated with pink and purple lights that harmonized with the floral displays. The bride herself wore a bold wedding dress designed by Donatella Versace, complete with off-the-shoulder straps and a thigh-high leg split accentuated by a simple white veil with satin edging. Brittany's, like I said, a very good friend of mine. We have a real good relationship. And uh, just from being around her so much. It hasn't hit me yet. You know, I'm not like, I, it hasn't, the husband thing hasn't hit me yet. We wasn't really wanting anything to be official, you know, like the official marriage thing. It's just the, the energy is so contagious. And that's what I love about her. He's really the only person that's been around for a few years, so. Without him, you know, she would have been alone. Yeah, you know? a lot of people are, man. I'm surprised I'm here, you know. Uh, <laughs> it's kind of a last minute thing. The star-studded guest list included the likes of Paris Hilton, Drew Barrymore, Madonna, Selena Gomez, and many others, turning the event into a glamorous affair. Notably absent were her two sons, her parents, and her sister Jamie Lynn, marking a poignant absence of family on her special day. Brittany and Sam's romantic journey commenced in 2016, when they met on the set of her music video for Slumber Party, creating a love story that unfolded before the public's eyes. The release of The Woman in Me has peeled back the layers of Britney Spears' tumultuous life, offering an unfiltered look into her world of fame, love, and family. The night before New Year's Eve, and said, let's go to Vegas. So I was like, cool. I got everything ready, and we left and went to Vegas. Have you been talking to her? When's the last time you spoke to her? Before, recently, it'd been 10 years. I want to do that. I've got to do that. And so I did. And um, so it's, it's nice. I love vintage clothes. I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> Can't talk. Her explosive revelations have not only made waves, but have rekindled public interest in the life of this iconic pop star. 
As the world eagerly consumes every word of her memoir, it's clear that the saga of Britney Spears continues to be an enduring fascination, a saga filled with twists and turns where the lines between love, impulse, and family are often blurred. So we went and we went to the chapel and we set everything up and we got married and we did everything, that, the whole pictures. Have you been talking to her? When's the last time you spoke to her? Before, recently, it had been 10 years. Uh, on the way over here. On the way over here? So she knows that you're talking to us? So we went ahead and did the whole thing and we got back to the room and we decided that's when we needed to tell everybody what we done did. How did she sound to you? No, she's great. You know, she's good. She's 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 mentally stable. Like she's fine. We're in the mood. Don't just stand there. Let's get to it. Strike a pose. There's nothing to it. Boom. That's all for this video, folks. See you next time.